Hello everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel, Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. So today I'm gonna show you how I decorated for my dad's 70th birthday party. Now this birthday party my mom had been planning for an entire year, so I wanted to make sure that I really stepped it up with the balloon decorations for this party. So if you wanna see how I did this, just stay tuned. So the colors I'm using are black, a dark forced green, and a chrome mirror gold. And all of these balloons are Sempertex brand. So I just blew up some 11 inch black balloons and now I'm blowing up the 18 inch balloons. I'm gonna round them out and then I'm gonna tie them into a dupe. So now I'm gonna twist my dupes into clusters. So I'm twisting three dupes per cluster or six balloons. I'm twisting two 11 inch dupes and one 18 inch dupe together. And make sure you double twist the dupes so the clusters are nice and secure. Now for the chrome gold, I only had the 11 inch on hand. So I twisted four dupes instead of three to kind of make the, the dupes a little bit more closer in size to the other two colors. So I'm going to show you two ways in which I connect my clusters for my balloon garland base. So I'm going to take one neck from one balloon in one cluster and another neck from another balloon in another cluster. And I'm just going to simply tie those necks together. So this is one way in which you connect your clusters to make your balloon garland base. Now this can be tricky, especially if the balloons have really tough necks. Okay. So I'm going to show you another method, which is the 260Q balloon um, method. So I'm going to take one 260Q balloon. And I'm going to double tie it and make it into like a rubber band. And I prefer to use 260Qs over real rubber bands because the 260Qs are more elastic. Then I'm going to take that 260Q, I'm going to wrap it around one of the balloons in a cluster, twist it around. And then I'm going to take a new cluster and I'm going to wrap at least two to three balloons inside of that 260Q. You want to make sure you wrap at least two to three balloons. You don't want to just wrap one inside because it won't give a secure enough um, connection. Okay, so you see me putting around a couple balloons right there, twist it around one time, and I'm going to get a new cluster and wrap at least two to three balloons uh, inside of that same 260Q so you can get a nice tight fit. So I ended up making a few balloon garland bases because I had a couple of backdrops to do. So for the main backdrop, I used two main balloon garland bases. One was about 10 feet and the other one was about five feet. I wanted to experiment with um, the shape of this backdrop and also want to make it easier for me to transport these bases. So I'm at the venue now. And um, I'm actually using a new backdrop stand. This is a backdrop stand my mom purchased. All of the normal backdrops I use, I actually use them throughout the venue. So I decided to use my mom's backdrop stand for the focal point backdrop, which actually was a mistake because this new backdrop stand did not have a sturdy top bar. So as you see that top bar, that stand is dipping. And I don't like that. So I would not suggest this particular backdrop stand. I will leave a link in the description box to my normal backdrop stands that have much dirtier top bars. And so these panels I got from me Favor Mart, the gold panels. I picked them because they had a very unique look. So now I'm going to be attaching my largest balloon garland base to the taller stand using a 260Q balloon. So you saw me tie that 260Q around um, some balloons in that base. And then I'm going to tie the other end around the stand. And then what I'm going to do is slide some balloons into the stand. So I'm going to slide those balloons into the bars of the stand to attach the rest of that base. Make sure it's nice and secure on the stand. And now I'm shaping it to the way I want it. And now I'm going to add this shorter balloon garland base by just tying it to the larger one using the 260Q. And then I'm going to stretch it out at the bottom right there and slip it into the stand. Now I'm going to be adding clusters of two to three dupes or four to six balloons. And I'm just going to be adding them with a 260Q balloon to frame around that number 70 to make the balloon garland thicker and to stretch it up towards the ceiling. So when making my balloon garland base, I'm going to be more precise. I'm going to start doing these uh, three 
do clusters or six balloons per cluster when making my base. I find that that's the perfect number for me as far as getting a nice um, size balloon garland base, but it not being too thick to where I can maneuver the shape. So you see, I'm, I'm really playing around with the shape here. By the way, I will leave a link to where I purchased my supplies, my balloons, the styrofoam marquee number, the backdrop panels, as well as the curtains. Um, I will also leave a link to where I normally get my backdrop stand from. I will not be leaving the link to this one. Like I said, I don't like how this stand looks. So now I'm adding my five inch decorators to the balloon garland. I'm adding them in clusters of two dupes or four balloons and I'm just tying a cluster to each end of a 260Q balloon. Then I'm gonna wrap that 260Q around a couple balloons in the pre-existing garland so that those five inch decorators do not pop out. And that's how I'm adding my five inch decorators. Now, if you didn't wanna tie two clusters to the end of a full 260Q, you can just cut your 260Qs in half and just add one cluster uh, per 260. Now it's time to add some balloon shine. So that is the mega shine balloon shine. I've been using that instead of the high shine. And then I'm going to be adding my neon happy birthday sign. I used fishing line to connect this together. And the fishing line is very strong. This is 15 pound fishing line. And I'm just using that to tie that onto the stand. And here is the finished product to the main backdrop for my dad's 70th birthday party. Now I did do another backdrop. It was a simple round backdrop for taking photos. And it wasn't as complete as I would have wanted it, but we were very short on time. In fact, the whole family had to come through to, to help decorate the whole venue. We only had two and a half hours worth of time. But overall, it came out really nice and my dad really loved it and he really enjoyed himself. And that's the most important part. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe. And you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.